In the charming town of Whiskerville, there is a family of cats lead by matriarch Missy. The Missy family has two tomcats who think they rule their suburban kingdom from a luxurious couch. Murphy, a sophisticated white cat with gold patches on his back and head, and Maddie, a youthful, full ginger mischief maker. Their days were filled with lounging, grooming, and the occasional existential conversation about the taste of different fish. As boys, they have a special bond with each other, more than with the girls in the family. Murphy, with his distinguished air, considered himself the mentor to young Maddie who was more interested in exploring the physics of flying food than in Murphy's tales of The Great Mouse Hunt of 2009. Murphy's attempts at teaching Maddie the finer points of being a cat often went awry, leading to scenes of comedic chaos. One day, while Murphy was explaining the importance of a well-timed nap, Maddie decided the blender wasn't getting enough attention and turned it on without the lid causing a tomato soup explosion. Murphy, coated in soup, declared a bath was now necessary, to which Maddie responded by hiding and then launching a full-scale sneak attack on the dreaded bath brush. In an effort to cultivate Maddie's hunting skills, Murphy orchestrated a mock hunt in the living room. However, Maddie misunderstood the assignment and turned their peaceful home into a booby-trapped battlefield aimed at capturing their prey, a confused and slightly terrified robotic vacuum cleaner that Murphy swore was plotting against them. Their culinary experiments were equally disastrous. Murphy tried to teach Maddie the art of fine dining by sneaking them into the kitchen to swipe salmon from their humans' plates. Maddie, however, was more interested in the physics of food flight, launching salmon into the air with a fork catapult, aiming for Murphy's open mouth, but instead decorating the walls with fishy artwork. Even their interactions with technology were fraught with humor. Murphy once attempted to show Maddie how to use a tablet for educational purposes. Maddie, however, found a cat game app and became so engrossed that he accidentally ordered 200 cans of tuna with one-day delivery. Their human's confusion upon receiving the unexpected delivery led to a household investigation. With Murphy and Maddie trying their best to appear innocent and uninvolved, despite the mounting evidence of tuna themicheos, their daily lives were a series of comedic misadventures. When Madi discovered the joy of unrolling toilet paper, Murphy saw an opportunity to teach him about the physics of rolling objects. The lesson quickly turned into a competition to see who could unroll the paper the fastest, resulting in a house wrapped in toilet paper and two very proud cats sitting atop their fluffy throne. The duo also had their share of outdoor escapades, albeit under the watchful eye of Murphy. Attempting to teach Maddie about the art of stealth, Murphy would lead by example, moving with grace and silence. Maddie, on the other hand, interpreted stealth as launching himself at leaves with the subtlety of a small tiger, causing birds to scatter and squirrels to gossip about the new menace of the neighborhood. On quieter days, Murphy tried to instill in Maddie an appreciation for the finer things in life, like the art of lounging in sunlight. Maddie, however, saw sunbeams as performance stages for his dramatic interpretive dances, complete with shadow puppet shows that left Murphy questioning his teaching methods. Despite the chaos, Murphy and Maddie shared a bond that was unbreakable. Murphy, with his refined tastes and old-world charm, found joy in Maddie's unbridled enthusiasm and knack for finding humor in the mundane. Maddie, in turn, adored Murphy's attempts at sophistication and loved nothing more than the moments when he could make Murphy laugh, even if it was with a mouthful of tuna. In the end, Murphy and Maddie's adventures were a testament to the joys of feline friendship, the beauty of learning from each other's differences, and the endless entertainment that comes from the simple act of living together. They might not have always seen eye to eye, especially when it came to the best method of tuna consumption, 
but they shared a home, a series of comedic misadventures, and a heartwarming companionship that made every day a new and hilarious journey.